No one, I think, will forget the amazing Captain Sir Tom Moore, who raised £32.8 million, or £39.3 million, including gift aid, for the NHS charities together as part of the COVID-19 urgent charity appeal. However, there was a very interesting article in The Times this morning about the Captain Tom Foundation which was incorporated on the 5th of May 2020. This foundation has received more than £1 million in donations and has spent around £400,000 of it. The article talked about the accounts that it registered with the Charity Commission, showing that it spent £240,000 on costs, whilst four charitable grants were made to a combined value of £160,000. One of the foundation's costs, to the value of £125,000, around one-tenth of the charity's income, has been spent on consultancy fees. And as the Times reports this includes a company that is run by Captain Tom's daughter. £209,000 of the expenditure has been listed as support costs. One of those such support costs is £162,000 in management fees. So in the interest of transparency, here's a quick look at those documents. You can see the support section here showing that governance costs was over £32,000, IT at over £8,000, office costs at £6,500 and management fees of £162,000. And included within those support costs, the governance costs of the auditor is over £8,000, the legal fees of over £22,000 and the fundraising management costs, including advertising and marketing expenditure of over £20,000 and fundraising consultancy fees of £126,000. What might be very interesting is the related party transactions, which states that during the period of reimbursement, costs of £16,000 were made to Club Nook Limited, which is a company under the control of Hannah Ingram Moore, who is a trustee for part of the period and the spouse of a trustee. Also during this period, payments of £37,942 were made to Matrix Group Limited, which is a company under the joint control of David Ingram Moore and Helen and Ingram more. The Times approached the foundation for comment, which it printed, and I will link that in the description below. Now, it is right to say that fundraising costs money. It costs money in terms of management, office space, technology, governance, legal fees, auditing fees, and fundraising consultancy fees, which are typically approaching professional companies to run marketing campaigns, to raise awareness, to spread awareness of the charity, and of course, in turn, assist in raising more money. So as I said, I will link the article in the description below so you can go and read that for yourself. Please do remember to subscribe if you like my videos and as always, thank you for watching.